sometimes stuff pile up in the studio here. Today we're going to unbox quite some interesting stuff here. So let's do it right now. Pagi. Good morning everyone, Kenneth here and today, yes, this is kind of like my first episode, first ever unboxing video. It's not massive by any means, but it's more than one stuff. <laughs> so where do we start right here? First, I want to unbox this thing. It's about a keyboard, so this will be my first time ever unboxing you know, a keyboard and probably making a review out of it. They're making a retro kind of, you know, uh, style with their keyboard right here. And you can see here it's called Durgot Fusion. And inside they use the Cherry MX switches and they have a plethora of options, including the silent one and this one. It's the Speed Silver switch. So let's check it out right now. I'm pretty interested because this will be kind of my first time ever trying a speed silver switch all right so inside what do we have here first let's check it out this is a uh oh a cup mat all right and it's a non-slip rubber at the base there so pretty good stuff and we also have a manual book here so let's put it aside for now this will be the durgod keyboard itself my goodness all right there you go wow that is so nice and you know this color scheme they have like three different color schemes but i settled with this gray look let's see what else do we have inside the box Ooh, we got quite a lot of stuff in here okay so these are the tool you need to take the keycaps off let me try one and see the speed silver like switches all right there you go so this is the cherry speed silver wow all right and this is the keycaps itself pretty high quality in the back of it moving on to the next one we've got a sticker yep nice and a cable management strap also a usb-c to usb-c cable wow and the next one is yeah this will be the usb-a to type c cable and this one is quite a bit longer than this one you can see that there's a lot I mean, you know what let me just open it right now all right so there you go this is kind of like a two meter cable that you can use to plug into the back of your pc so that is very nice stuff This is good. Oh my goodness, I love the sound. It's not obnoxiously annoying like the cherry blue switches. I just can't sleep when my roommate are using his blue switch. I think my brother has a brown or red uh, switch in his home and yeah, I just kind of don't like it because of how light it felt to type on it. But here, it's so nice. The resistance on the switches itself, they are so very nice. I love this one. Okay, so that's a very quick look of the Durgod Fusion. Links down in the description below if you want to check them out. And uh, thanks for sponsoring me this one. This is some really nice stuff. Look forward for the full review when it comes later. Let's move on to the next one. And this is very interesting as well. This is the top of the line Transmart Apollo Bowl that uses the best of the best chip. Uh, I think like 5124 chip. So that will be some really great stuff inside. It has ANC over 30 freaking hours of playtime with 10 hours inside the earbuds, you know, basic Qualcomm chips. Also six microphones for call quality. I will be reviewing this uh, in the coming weeks. So look forward to that. But right here, let's just take a quick look of the box itself. That's very premium right there. Basically what you expect from a hundred buck earbuds. All right, so you can see right here that there are some microphones. There are like the feed forward ANC, feed back ANC. Yeah, basically it forms a hybrid active noise canceling. It listens to the noise inside your ear and outside your environment. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so. How, how do you take this out? <gasps> I'm so sorry, guys. 
I'm always this clumsy. The earbuds themselves, they're pretty nice, not too big in my opinion, but some of you might see this as a little bit big. And right off the bat, we can see two holes for microphone, four contact pins, and also a wear detection sensor, so that's really great. And also another microphone right there, another microphone right there, there is a ton of microphones in this stuff. This thing is packed with features. We're gonna see how it sounds. And I think other reviewers said that this is quite bassy. We're gonna find that out later. Are they charging? Yeah, they are charging indeed. And you can see there is LED indicator in the front. For the earbuds itself, it is very, very well built. There is no denying that. The thing is, the case is not as premium as what you would expect from something at this price. You know, the Ampel T5, Light Protect Heavy, all of them have better cases than this. I think we can all agree on that. But I think most of the budget goes to the technology inside the earbuds, which is very well made. So I'm not complaining on that. We have a pretty much flagship earbuds right here which is pretty darn cool before we check out the ANC let's see what else is inside the box first up quick start guide and the good thing about Transmart is no matter how cheap it is or how expensive it is they always include every control so respect on them to that finally the ear tips themselves I don't know why I am taking them out but these pairs that come included are medium sized ear tips and they fit just fine so I won't bother you know changing to the other ear tips we have a USB-C cable nice good quality stuff about half a meter so yeah not complaining on that there is another thing written there accessory is under tray <gasps> this is a three layered surprise box this is amazing chart smart my goodness okay i didn't expect this one it's a nice pouch with it's not pretty microfiber quality but i think it's pretty nice to prevent your new baby to go on scratch throughout the day all right so let's try this out and pair it to our phone newly unboxed phone check out the unboxing if you haven't checked it out and wow it has a really nice high quality you know sound prompt power on pairing to the device okay let's pair it to our phone right now and we'll see transmart apple Abo. So I'm gonna pair it right now. Yep. This should use this true wireless stereo. So not the mirroring one that's still reserved to the newer chips. So you still will have two different pairing names. And whenever you switch between the left or the right earbuds, there will be some, you know, five seconds, six seconds of disconnection. All right, so let's try and listen to a song, you know, to give you just a very quick first impression of the Transmart Apple Bowl and about the song. Don't mind the sound, okay? I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> All right. Wow. This is undeniably bass heavy, or should I say like strong on the bass, but not sure. Look forward to the full review of that. But for now, let's try out the ANC. Okay, so it says ambient on. Oh, I can hear my own voice when I'm talking and it's pretty high quality, wow. Okay, that, that's really nice. I can hear the street noise. This is definitely better than the Jabby's Firefly 2 transparency mode. This one you can really use and take on a run outside. And wow. Okay, this, this mode is pretty good. Let's try on the left side. One, two, three. Yeah, noise cancellation on now. All right, so there's not much going on here. So I, I didn't notice that much of a noise reduction. But definitely the AC low rumbling noise is totally gone yeah i barely can hear a little hissing right there but no 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 so the anc that is some really nice stuff about three years ago since the very first airpods and the very first noise cancelling earbuds from sony this one i'll search it up i don't know the model number i'll put it right here I really wanted a true wireless earbuds to have active noise cancellation and my goodness, they have brought it down. Like it's only a hundred bucks now, whereas it used to be like, what, 300 bucks from Sony this day? Yeah, technology has gone so far. It's really nice to have something that, you know, has this good of an ANC and battery life as well. 
in such affordable package. So good job on Tronsmart Apple Bolt in this one. Look forward to the full review. Links down in the description below if you want to get it. And let's move on to the next one. So now let's unbox the Ugreen High Tune first. This is sponsored by Ugreen, but you know, as always, all my reviews are unbiased and they are my own honest opinion. So yeah, about this one, I don't expect too much. Uh, this is just a very basic Qualcomm, you know, earbuds that cost around 40 bucks, I think, if I'm correct. And wow, and we can see, yeah, it's just basically a very solid package. This is a really nice unboxing experience. By the way, you got this cable management tie included in the box. Wow. I think we can all agree that the unboxing experience in this one is so nice. And they have colors on a user manual book. That is so nice. <laughs> no, okay, okay. It does have that faint new electronic smell. And let's move on to the Ugreen itself. I don't really like the logo on the top here, but you know what? It's a very nice high quality product. And we have a battery indicator in front and this lid is so nice. You know, it opens up and it has that quite little resistance and when it tucks in at the top, it just stay there and it's very sturdy. When you close it, it has that little resistance that is so nicely designed. My goodness, you green did such a good job on this one. All right, you can see right here that two LEDs, just like the Tronsmart, they, uh, you know, they let you know if the left and right earbuds are charging and are fully charged or not. The earbuds shapes are quite sculpted like Edifier, but it's quite tall again. Yeah, it's matte finish with a little glossy accent around the top there. I am impressed. This is such a high quality product. I need to change the ear tips though because they don't fit me at all. Okay, let's see what else is inside the box. The last time I had something of this caliber is I think with the one more ECS 3001. The rest of the stuff is the ear tips, all right? It's like the bigger tips and the smaller tips. So the cable, this one is USB-C, right? Yeah, of course it's USB-C. Just like the Transmart Apple Bolt, the quality, the feel of the unboxing themselves, they really put attention on that. Okay, so let's pair it to my phone right now and see how it sounds. You green high tune there, very nice branding. The same song that I was listening on the Transmart Apple Bolt, we'll see. All right, yeah, yeah. Actually, just like any other Qualcomm chip earbuds, we can all agree that most of them will sound decent because the digital signal processor on the chip itself is very good. So, wow, I'm impressed with this one. Sadly, I don't think this has volume control though, but we're gonna see and check on that on its full review later on. All right, now moving on to the last one, Samsung Galaxy Buds Plus. Finally, I can review this thing. I've been wanting to review the original Buds for so long. And here we are reviewing the Buds Plus and in a couple weeks, the Buds Life as well. So very excited for that. And we have the Samsung phone to back that up, you know, to have that ecosystem and have a really nice picture of how good really the Samsung Buds is. Okay, so let's break the seal off of it. Here we go. One thing that sticks out to me was the battery inside the earbuds itself. And Samsung put a 85 milliamp hour battery. That is monstrous for a true wireless earbuds. Usually they have like 60 milliamp hours, 65 maximum. And this thing has 80 flipping five milliamp hour and that's why it can play for 11 hours right there and also it has two-way speakers here i'm not sure if that is like a balanced armature and a uh, dynamic driver or just you know a bigger dynamic with a smaller dynamic driver not sure about that but we still have triple mics in every earbuds and Qi wireless compatible charging all right so let's take the galaxy buds out and there you go. Okay, so the Galaxy Buds Plus, this is very, very glossy, very shiny, very reflective. We have a colored LED inside to tell you the battery level. 
Oh, I think that one is like the charging indicator and this is the battery level indicator. We have a USB-C port, Qi wireless charging support. Let's try that right now with the reverse wireless charging. I'm gonna turn it on right now. Wireless power share. All right, ready to charge. And let's uh, put that on. What happens to, oh yeah, it is charging. You can see that red LED light. Wow. All right, earbuds itself, it has that infrared sensor to know that when you're wearing it or not. That's one microphone pointing inside. And it has a, wow, it's like a dome shaped metal mesh right there. So very sturdy. This is, I think the most sturdiest metal mesh I've ever seen. And moreover, this ear tips are kind of shielded right there. So your ear waxes won't be very easy to get stuck inside, you know, and make it look gross. And also this, is the ear wing tips. Let's see if that hurts after a while. I need to change to the bigger ear tips though. Yeah. All right, so let's move on to the accessory side. What do we have here? Let's see. Oh, we can just take the whole thing out? No, no, no. Oh yeah, I think we can take the whole thing out. Oof. All right, so there you go. We have a included USB cable, just like the quality that you expect from something of a Samsung caliber. Very nice. This is on a different quality compared to the Transmart and the Ugreen. Very nice stuff. And the ear tips here, we have the bigger size, you know, and they are all the same really high quality stuff. And yeah, this is the most important stuff. If you don't want and don't like the wing tips, you can just put this one. Overall, very good quality. Let me just pair it to my phone real quick. How do you pair this thing? I think you should open it right. Okay, just, just open it right now and All right, so at this point, I uh, have kind of given up on trying to pair my Galaxy Buds Plus. I'm not sure. Okay, so I just got my Galaxy Buds Life. Uh, it's kind of like recalibrated and repaired, so right now it can connect normally to my phone. And this is how it sounds like I'm recording using the Galaxy Buds Plus on the Note 20 Ultra. What do you think of the sound quality? I think it should be good, yeah? All right, let's get back to the studio. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the unboxing for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, these are undeniably very interesting stuff, uh, very quality stuff right here. Everything except for the Galaxy Buds Plus, not sure why it won't pair, especially this keyboard. My goodness, I am loving the Cherry MX Speed Silver right there. Link down in the description below. This is a really quality product and yeah, with the looks to back it up, you know, like that retro look probably might hit you there in that heart. Maybe not me though, because I'm, uh, yeah, I'm still a baby when keyboards look like this, basically, I guess. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Look forward to all the reviews that I will be doing on all of these products, including the phone that I'm currently using right now. Yes, this will be my main phone for about the next one month or something before I give it to my dad. Okay, that's it for me today. I'm Kenneth and I will see you in the next one.